Hello everyone, this is Aegis here bringing to you another game between the University of Arizona and the Arizona State University. This is the third match, the third game of their match from round six of the Collegiate Star League. Here we have Garlic and uh, Valtasar. I believe they're related and they're repeating the lines from Team Rocket in Pokemon. And uh, let's see. Garlic is a Zerg player playing as the orange Zerg here for the for Arizona State University and Valtasar is playing Protoss for Arizona State University as well. Here we have Techno Viking and Santoki uh, playing for Ooh, I got those I, I got those flipped. Uh, Garlic and Valtasar play for the University of Arizona. And uh, Santoki and Techno Viking play for Arizona State University. Uh, they're spawning here as the Blue Zerg and the Teal uh, Terran. This is the third game in the match. Um, and we've seen the two teams even so far. It's 1 1. You can check out the other games uh, as posted in the, on my channel as well. Uh, Garlic and Techno Viking, uh, Garlic and Valtasar are mid range uh, diamond players, ranging uh, Garlic at 700 points and Valtasar at 1,400. Uh, Techno Viking is a 1,400 pointed uh, diamond player, and uh, his buddy here, Santoki, is ranked at 1,200 points. Santoki is getting his gas uh, relatively early, not going for any expansion. He's getting his pool um, probably around the 13 or 14. Techno Viking throwing down two racks and probably going for an early attack here. We see Garlic's pool also near complete here, also collecting the gas, probably both going for Zergling speed early so that they can hold off early rushes. Techno Viking scouting through the back here, and Valtasar getting his Cybernetics core. Everything looks normal for Valtasar. He's getting a second gateway here, so maybe he's also preparing for some sort of early rush. Maybe uh, more stalkers in the mix. Techno Viking here with uh, no gas at all, so he's definitely going for an early rush build. We're probably going to see a bunch of Marines being made, and then he's going to push out with. Uh, his buddy to try to do some early game damage and perhaps win the game. We have a probe here hiding. Maybe it'll be used to build a pylon if... Oh no, he's been spotted, so no pylon. Her ass will go down. We have stalkers coming out and as well as warp gate technology coming out for Protoss here. And we also have both teams getting their Zergling Speed Garlic a little bit late on it. And we also see Baneling Nests coming up for both teams as well. We'll probably see a lot of splashing action in the near future. Marines are very good targets for the Banelings as well as these Zerglings. And uh, see Santoki is going to scout up here and see the Banelings Nest. So he knows that the other team has Banelings coming up as well. Marines coming up here, trying to take out this Overlord, but it is just just on the edge of the cliff, so is able to re retreat to safety. Um, Banelings morphing in for Santoki now. Uh, no Banelings out for Garlic yet, so these Banelings, if they go off on those Zerglings, could do a ton of damage. We'll see if these Banelings... Oh no, going off, at, going for the Stalkers instead, leaving these Marines completely vulnerable to, a, to an attack. More reinforcing Zerglings coming in for Santoki here. Going to be able to clean up this uh, Zergling force from Garlic here. And these two Stalkers are also dead. We have more Zerglings coming out for both teams. Reinforcements pouring out from uh, Santoki. More Banelings being morphed here. Let's see if this early push will be able to win them the game. We have Zerglings here surrounding these uh, here. We have Banelings morphing in just in time to take out all of these Zerglings. But if they're able to hide, but they might be able to hide inside Valtasar's base. This, these Stalkers will be able to prevent them from doing any damage here. Banelings running up into Garlic's base, maybe going for the Econ. going to cause a lot of damage to 
Uh, Garlic's Econ, if these are able to- Oh, these are drones are all losing half of his drones there. Garlic is very much on the back foot with his uh, drone count. If this game goes on for, for a long time, then uh, Garlic might not be able to uh, sustain production for much longer. Oh, we see these uh, advanced forces from uh, our team from the Arizona State University getting taken out here and these Marines just retreating back to base. Two more Banelings morphing here. If these can go off on these Zerglings, it could put them back into the game. It looks like this, this big push here might be able to win the game for uh, the University of Arizona. There's not much out for the Arizona State University team here. Just a few marines left over, constructing bunkers, but these won't get up in time. These stalkers are going to do a ton of damage before any any more units are able to come out. It's These stalkers are doing a very good job of cleaning up the, the zerglings, uh, the stragglers that are coming down out of the base due to a rally point um, misclick. The zerglings here cleaning up the bunkers, and GG calls the... It calls Arizona State University. And we'll be going into game four here very soon. Uh, so now it is 2-1 in favor of the University of Arizona. And we'll see you in game four.